I'm not sure if I showed this setup before. Uh, my my tenant, when he moved out, he took my commercial air compressor with him. It had a 50-gallon uh, tank on it. But since my shop is not going to be a commercial shop anymore, uh, the only thing I need to do is uh, inflate a tire at different times and I need to uh, um, use some hand tools, some air hand tools. And I got one, one piece of equipment down, actually two pieces of equipment down there that uses a lot, a big volume of air. But that's the key. It doesn't use a big pressure of air. It uses a big volume of air. So what I did was I got a, a real small, this is a three gallon tank air compressor. Uh, it cost me less than a hundred bucks. It, uh, it'll pump up to 130 pounds of pressure. But it's got a real small tank. So to get around that, I got, uh, this is a buddy tank, this is a 14 gallon buddy tank, um, and it, it had a fitting like this on it, big, that big fitting there was screwed into the tank, that's the air fill right there got a pressure gauge, got a overpressure bleed valve, and then you got a fitting over here where the where your air hose can uh, you can either screw an air hose in um, permanently or you can use fittings and um, and put a female connection gauge on it connection on it. And since I needed more volume than that, this was uh, an old buddy tank that I had that uh, years earlier he had uh, he'd run over this end with a car and busted busted that valve off. So um, this tank was just thrown into the corner and basically abandoned. So what I did was I, I went and took, took the busted valve off and then used a regular reducing fitting. This, this is a fitting from uh, 3 eighths down to a quarter. Actually it's a half inch down to a quarter. That's a half inch pipe thread right there. That's standard. These tanks come with sta standard pipe threads. And these valves also come with sta standard pipe threads. So I got a three way, I got a three way adapter right here. It's got, it's got four quarter inch It has four quarter inch pipe thread adapters. I got a nipple right here. Actually, I got a bunch of these. So you put the nipple, quarter inch nipple, into the bot into the back side of this, and the other side you screw into the back side of the block. So the three ways are this. It's the same setup on all of this. This is the exact same setup. You got the half to quarter bushing. Then you got the three-way with the quarter inch fittings. You put the quarter inch nipple in and then thread in thread in the uh, your air hose air hose fittings. This this tank has been, uh, I pumped it up three months ago. It had 130 pounds of pressure in it when I pumped it up. And uh, three months ago, and 
it's sitting at 120 pounds of pressure right now. I've left these two, uh, I left this hose connecting between these two tanks. So whatever, whatever pressure the left one has, the right one has too. I had one more tank, but uh, it just, it, uh, it was from an old air compressor. That's another point too, is uh, if you've got an old air compressor uh, that the compressor has gone bad on, the tank, if it still holds air, you can still use it as storage capacity. So, in my in my efforts, there's a you can find fittings for air hoses in the um, in the regular plumbing section, or you can find it over where over at the in the air compressor section. Plumbing section is cheaper. Unless, unless you actually need a air fitting, that's a sp specific fitting right there for an air hose, so is this. Unless you need a specific air fitting, um, it'll, it'll be cheaper to uh, um, to uh, get the fit your air hose fittings um, from the plumbing section. So I, uh, I'm going to need one short jumper hose to connect one more tank. I thought, I thought that I needed two jumper hoses, but uh, in reality, what I'm going to do, I've got uh, over here, I've got... Uh, over a hundred foot of uh, of air hose. That's um, I put fresh fittings on them, so they're all airtight. So what I can do is I can set this air this air compressor up next to the um, next to the electrical outlet because um, it, the shorter this pulls quite a bit of electricity so you need to plug it in as short as possible and then run a long plug in one hose here and I can run air doesn't lose um, it doesn't lose its potential over distance so I can run a hundred foot of air hose and then plug it in to this, gr this cluster of tanks near where my work is and then I can use the shorter hose for my work so um, it's coming together um, and I can uh, I can expand this or or tone it dial it down for whatever application that I'm working on um, but not having enough capacity is uh, is a bad place to be in, but um, for most for the most part, just pumping up a tire, the compressor alone will take care of it. But if you have to travel, if you've got a flat tire on a highway, um, if you tie three of these tanks together, um, that's going to be more than enough to uh, to inflate a flat if you have to travel to blow it up so that's where I'm at right now